Hello friends. Today's deliberations will be on circular economy. Circular economy is a very well talked subject in the economy and it is equally important for our existence and sustainable growth. Friends, I can give you a reasonable amount of assurance that if you are with me for 5 to 6 minutes time I can explain you the entire subject and you may not be required to attend any further workshops or training program on this very relevant subject but before that I request you to please like this video and give your esteemed comments so that we can come out with other videos on the relevant subject for your understanding and knowledge. You know the newspapers. After reading the newspaper, we scrap the newspapers. But it is not really scrapped. It is de-inked and again goes through the manufacturing process to prepare paper. Its definition is like that. Circular economy is a regenerative economic model that aims to keep resources in use for as long as possible. And to extract maximum value from them and then recover and regenerate them at the end of their life cycle. In other words, we will not allow anything to scrap. Key principles of circular economy. What are the basic three principles? Number one, designing out waste and pollution. Number two, keeping products and materials in use and number three regenerating natural systems these are the three major principles of circular economy now you can ask me what are the benefits apart from the environmental point of view circular economy has several advantages such as reducing waste and most importantly pollution, conserving resources, creating new business opportunities and promoting sustainable growth. I give you some critical examples of circular economy under Indian context. Number one, reverse logistics in e-commerce. What is that? Reverse logistics is a concept where products are returned to the manufacturer or seller for recycling or reselling. In the Indian context, e-commerce companies like Flipkart and Amazon have implemented this concept by setting up dedicated warehouses for returns and refurbishing products to resell them. This is number one. Now, upcycling. Upcycling in fashion industry means is a process of transforming old or waste materials into new products of higher value. This higher value is very, very important. In India, several fashion brands like Dot Lage, Akaro have implemented upcycling by using waste fabric and materials to create new and innovative products. Third, waste to energy is a very very common usage, particularly by the municipal authorities. Municipal solid waste management. Waste to energy is a process of converting waste into energy. 
in india several municipal corporations have already implemented waste to energy products by setting up waste to energy plants to generate electricity from waste fourth example is very known to us that is refill and reuse in fmcg products refill and reuse is a concept where consumers can refill their empty containers rather than buying new ones in india several fmcg companies like unilever nestle dabur have implemented this concept by setting up refill stations for their products for shampoo detergent and oil fifth important area is the closed loop supply chain in automotive industry this we have seen in toyota also closed loop supply chain is a concept where the waste generated in one stage of the supply chain is used as an input for another stage in india several automotive companies like maruti tata motors have implemented closed loop supply chains by recycling their waste materials like metal and plastics to reduce waste and conserve resources now if you ask me which particular product is suitable for recycling upcycling in indian context out of all these examples now this also we have analyzed and we find that product where circular economy can be easily implemented in the indian context is textile and clothing industry as there is a significant amount of waste generated in the production and consumption of clothes friends by implementing circular practices like upcycling recycling reuse the textile and clothing industry can significantly reduce waste and promote a more sustainable economic model hope you have got a glimpse about the circular economy which is very very important today for our sustainable growth and also survival so therefore we thought it suitable to discuss this particular important subject and please share your comments like our video and of course do not forget to subscribe our video so that you continuously get updates on all important topics on economy taxation finance legal and corporate world thank you very much for your patient hearing